They are the ghosts that long to haunt us, if only we paid attention, for they are surely there, hiding in plain sight, under the heavy layers of time and grime. And now they're finding some love. I find beauty and disorder. Uh, Cindy Vasco is a photographer who focuses on decaying structures. Her photo of the vast and beautiful Franklin School on K Street won first prize at a new exhibit at the Carnegie Library building on Mount Vernon Square. Sponsored by the Historical Society of Washington, D.C., it's entitled, For the Record, Artfully Historic D.C. The peeling paint, I think it adds um, a beautiful feature to um, a little slice of history. And it is history. More than 70 works of art and photography telling the stories of architecture that helped define a time in this city. The Bond Bread Factory on Georgia Avenue, the superintendent's house at the Del Carlia Reservoir in Northwest, the Watch House and Water Tower in Tenleytown, the diamond patterned brickwork of the Carroll Laundry Smokestack in Southeast. This is a way, again, to present them to the public so that they understand the history behind the different sites that are around DC that may go unnoticed or unappreciated. Not everything is past tense. The Washington Canoe Club Boathouse on the river in Georgetown, while old, is still in use. Even the Carnegie Library, which houses this exhibit, is part of this exhibit. You may pass it on K Street every day and not know that it's still alive inside. But stop and go in and enjoy the artistry of places that are too often just names. St. Elizabeth's Hospital, the Old Soldier's Home. These works are a way to engage the community, challenge us to look around. There was a time, a very different time, that was quite a time. And the ghost of that era could be gone in no time.